Welcome back to the Swindon Lot. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Dr. Benji. Uh, so, since we last met, we are at the FA Cup. Uh, we're doing all right in the league, though. We are currently sitting in seventh place, but it's time for a transfer special. And with £31 million to spend, things are about to get exciting. Uh, th although we've got that much money, the fact we've got 19 in the balance, uh, and we're not expected to make a huge profit this season, I'm going to be a little bit reserved. But that said, uh, because of how all well the league's going, if you look at our sort of recent run, we've been doing very well. Um, last episode, you'd know it's been 1 3 0 against Forest. Uh, we did, as I say, pick up that loss against Burnley, which is annoying me more now than it did at the time. Um, but in the Premier League, that now leaves us in a very solid seventh place, uh, level with Tottenham. So above expectations, but it's a tricky situation to be in because it's not like we have to strengthen to the point where we've got to try and stay up, and it's not like we're in touching distance of a title or anything. Um, but a European spot is a maybe. Uh, I'm very conscious of the fact West Ham and Everton and Southampton are a lot of better squads than me. Um, I shall say that. I don't know if I mean it. Because our squad, if you look at our squad on paper, like if you look at the ability, the current ability, we've got some standout players in there. And they've got a lot of very solid players. And potential-wise, we've got some real big hitters. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, actually. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I've got I've got some decisions to make. Um, I think the chance of me bringing in another striker are quite likely. Uh, I might try and look to, to move on to someone like Saeed, who's come in. And he's just kind of... He's plodding along, but he's not really excelling. Uh, so if I can move him on for maybe a little bit more experience, I might do. Uh, elsewhere... I'm always looking for new centre-backs, and a left-back. I didn't really bring a, a key left-back in. It's funny, because we brought Contreras to play as the left-back, but he's been solid at right-back, so I don't really want to change that round now. I'm going to just let him have that position. Um, so it's been interesting. So a left-back's probably going to be the priority. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what we've got. Our wage, oh, look, the, the amount we can spend on wages is pretty big, considering our club size. And as I say, a lot of money. So um, if anything happens, I will keep you updated, and I'll run you through the games. Uh, I don't know if you saw it a moment ago, but we've got a pretty big run of fixtures. Um... I get a sense that this form here was very useful because the form here might not be as nice or as lovely. Anyway, uh, so as I say, if, if anything develops, you'll be the first to know. Welcome back, folks. Um, okay, some, mm, I've, done, I've done a I've done a goats like thing again, haven't I? Uh, so you look at this squad and you think pretty good. You know, it's got some good young players in there. We've talked about the transfer window last time out, but if there's one thing missing from this team. What do you think it is? I'll give you five seconds. Right. Aside from Eunice Kabul, who has got plenty of Premier League experience, it's the one thing we're really lacking. There's not, a, there's not a player in this team, I don't think, if you can spot one, tell me, who's got more than, say, 30 Premier League appearances uh, previously, well, previous to joining Swindon. Like, I don't think there's a single player in the team apart from Eunice Kabul. So, I've loaned in Wayne Rooney. Um... They wanted 10% of his wages, which is 23 grand. I think that's I don't think that's too bad. Like if there's one thing I don't have, it's Premier League experience. If there's one thing Wayne Rooney has got in just bundles, it's Premier League experience. It seems like a bizarre signing, absolutely mental. But it could be genius. It could be genius. And I've never had Wayne Rooney on any football manager ever. So, Wayne, we're about to become the best of friends. We're going to have to put your hatred for my, my team Liverpool aside and just learn to coexist. So yeah, first signing of the window, Wayne Rooney. Which is clever, because in my next game, Manchester United taking away the opposition. Genius. Uh, so when I said make them weaker, what I meant was make them very potent in front of goal. There we go again. It's such a cliche to say that there's no value in the market in January, but I'm looking through, right? And then the players that I can potentially sign, there is no value in them. There's just, there's no reason to buy in January. I don't know. Are you, I'm going to ask the question because I don't know. Are you someone that looks to buy in January or do you like to do what I do and tend to just have a clear out in the summer and, and refresh certain positions? I don't feel like any of the players that have got contracts expiring in six months would be help me out. Um, any of the players on the transfer list would particularly help me out. I'll, I'll bring it up for you. It just seems weird to me that these kind of guys aren't going to massively improve me. They're all on big wages. They'll all cost a bit of money. Or, despite being transfer listed, they're just not worth it. And a player like Aaron Cresswell, like, I'm, I'm saying I need a left-back, right? He's a solid left-back. But at 29, and he's already on 40k, he's going to want 60k. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to want, but it's just not, there's no value in that. And I'm looking for kind of 23, 24 year olds to come through and push us on. So by the time we're like a top club in the Premier League, which is obviously the aim, they're around that sort of 27, 28 mark, and we're, we are pu pulling like a, a full force title race together. And 
yeah, it's such a shame because you, you sit here with this kind of budget and you think, am I wasting it year on year? Are there players like I'm missing out on? But honestly, I've had so, I've had a long look through players that could potentially come in. And even if I take off transfer listed players, if we just look at players that are interested, well, some of the top players here are, are, are you know, they're great players, but they just not get it improved me to the extent where it's worth the value for money. Like Patrick Roberts is a good another good example. Twenty one years old could obviously bring him in. He's very very good on this game. But there's no value in paying that much money. Like, I'm going to have to pay him, again, 60, 50 grand. I don't know what it'll be. It, like, it's just not worth it. There's just not the value there. And I make these sort of January transfer videos because I want to highlight this. I don't I don't want you to feel like, oh, he's just not doing it for the sake of not doing it. There's, there's no reason for me to go into the market for players that aren't going to improve me. And you look at the signings we made this year uh, in, in, the, in the summer window. They're, they're all, like, decent additions. All players that are performing well for me. And... I much rather spend my money there. If you've not seen the future last episode, you'll know this is like a theme with me. But I don't bring in a lot of players in January. There's two there. One was just permanent. One was a loan. Um, it's just kind of a bit of desperation. Lewis Grabman was brought in, in in a championship season. Maloka. It's always one. Like Jack Stevens was brought back in on loan. It's it's not a big thing with me. But I'm, I'm interested. Let me know in the comment section. Are you the kind of person that, that spends in January, or do you wait for the summer to uh, to kind of reload? Anyway, uh, we've got a game coming up soon, so I'll bring you the uh, the action from that. So I'm just playing Arsenal, uh, and I've just had a sending off very recently. You see Angenda goes through there. Good slide tackle from the Arsenal man. Watch Mario Goetze. Uh, he's not he's not happy. Not happy at all. So he lunges two-footed, effectively, at Kadira, who then goes down, and he's been sent off. So that's three games. Cheers, Mario. Someone wants a break. This is, this is in Germany. You can't just have a winter break. <sighs> Annoying. Well... That brings a disappointing end to Manchester United, Arsenal, and uh, and Liverpool in back-to-back -back games. I feel like we are the best of the Arsenal and the Liverpool game. Like, obviously, that doesn't say that. But, I mean, before they started going on a rampage in the second half, I felt like we were the better team. And then, yeah, no. But let's see if we're making any more business. Any more business? Any more deals? Oh, I'm heartbroken. So, you know earlier when I said Aaron Cresswell wasn't value for money in the marketplace well i've just got him um i'm gonna sign him because 2.6 million uh, sorry 2.1 million i'll lose a bit because of the turn on fees and whatnot um the big thing for me though is that he wanted to take well he didn't want to take but he's taken a 10,000 wage cut on his current contract and his stats are very very good it's surprising to me that southampton want to let him go really considering they paid so much for him um so this is gonna be the final deal of the day, I think. I think the, the two signings we're going to make are, are Aaron Cresswell and Wayne Rooney, which is strange because I talk about value for the market, say that Aaron Cresswell wouldn't be worth it, and then realise that you want 2.1 million for him on deadline day. And I've been searching for ages for a left back, and there's just nothing there. It's just trash. Um, and this guy just ended up making sense. Um, he doesn't need to get, like, because he's English as well. It, it just, it all made sense. Uh, so I'll show you it when it when it loads back up again for me. But two signings, Wayne Rooney and Cresswell. Uh, which one do you think will be better for the remainder of the season, I guess, is the real question. Uh, we've not spent that much money. I think Rooney's on, like, 100 grand a week. That's, like, what I've got to pay United. And obviously Cresswell was a flat fee with, uh, with a, you know, a solid Premier League wage, but nothing too big. £29.5,000 uh, a week. It's just, you know, fair. I think fair is fair and love and war. Um, so that brings us to the end of the transfer special, really. It was a little January update. Wayne Rooney's a bit of a surprise. Um, and I want to know, again, I, I, I mentioned it. I'm going to mention it once again, just in case you've forgotten. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you spend big in January or do you wait for those bargains? Or are you the kind of person that just looks for those free transfers? The players that are going to become available in the summer. Uh, do you look to get those guys on a free? So once again, look at the transfer history. Uh, Cresswell and Rooney came in. One loan deal. One permanent sign in, and that brings us to the end. So, from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series so far, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And from me and you, goodbye next time.